Hi, this is Larry Jordan. The following is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a first look at Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this excerpt, I want to show you the changes that Adobe has made to trimming. Adobe has developed what's called editing finesse. It's just an improved trimming function. For instance, here, I've got two clips. If you click on it, it automatically goes into a um, just a standard trim. With like, Final Cut would be like with the arrow tool. What's new is if you hold the control key down and type the letter T as in Tom or trim, I can switch between trim the out, trim the in, roll trim both, ripple trim the out, ripple trim the in. It's control T it allows me to toggle between them. With the roll, if I hold the option key down and option left arrow, I can move one frame at a time to the right, option right arrow, move one frame at a time to the left, shift option, moves multiple frames right, shift option right arrow, moves multiple frames left. Then it gets cooler. Type the letter T, it opens up a trim window. T opens up a trim window. I can now do a, a ripple trim to the to the out, I can do a ripple trim to the in by simply putting my mouse in the window and dragging. Put your mouse on the black line that divides the two windows, and I'm doing a roll trim. I can use these numbers down here and punch in the numbers, but when you're starting to use the trim edit window, it makes a whole lot more sense to, to actually see the picture rather than use the keyboard. But Better yet, go up to the window menu. Go down to the trim monitor. This opens up a gigunda window, and now you can really see what you're trimming. Click the left-hand window. Do a ripple trim to the out. Click the right-hand window. Do a ripple trim to the in. Click between the windows. You're doing a roll trim. Click, hold, and drag, and you can make changes to your clips. The letter T opens the trim window inside the program monitor, and the window itself, the window menu, allows you to toggle the trim window open or closed. Close it with there. We can also trim by right mouse clicking on the junction between two clips and select ripple trim in, ripple trim out. This part started with CS6, but the ability to have the, the, the trim windows show up, that's, that's new stuff. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. This gives you access to more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend all of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 102. Thanks.